I just keep kind of here touching my fucking cart. You I heard the damn floodgates. Uh, at least floodgate, at least that was a fence nigga on the board. It's your boy Jay, Lord Rain. You already know the fuck them. Fuck them Twitch niggas. Fuck them niggas. Fuck her. He don't even shit. Facts. Yeah. That's right. In fact, doesn't stream shit. We're continuing. Oh, man, eat this. Eat this fish. December 13th, 1947. Damn, so the game didn't save? I gotta do all this all over again? I wanted to tell somebody about what's going on. Sounds like you're not playing that game. It started when Mom sent me to go <laughs> no, I'm gonna have finish. dinner. I'm I woke up and I was starving. <laughs> so I looked around I wouldn't be redoing it. Respectfully. The gerbil food was there dry, is no but I didn't time. want to Unless it's Red Dead Redemption, I'll play that game again. Red Dead Redemption. I might need to get a PC. A PC for what? Because they got all these deals on game. But I don't I play games like... anymore, really, Jay. That's the thing. I play Pokemon ROM hacks. We need some ROM streams. Then though. I heard chirping outside my window. And it's Quincy's time slot. What did Quincy? What are supposed to be doing? That's a fucking concept. Get, get off the, the table. It was a Thank barn you. swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. That nigga just streamed the other day, I think. Quincy. And suddenly. Yeah. He was playing uh, I was a cat. that one Pokemon game I told you to play. You know, play that shit. I tried to be quiet, but the bird Which one did you tell me? The ultimate favorite, did you? No. What are you talking about? I got Quincy playing at Pokemon Desolation. You ain't never yeah. tell me to play that shit. You tell Quincy to play that shit. He got me some good quality content coming. Then he told me to tell you to play it and see if you can pass the first part. And I said, Jay's not playing that. He's gonna hack it. I didn't even hack the first one we played. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Sad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I could gobble her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard. Hey, this was one. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. My leg is trapped. Here I come, stranger. With my shotgun in hand, just in case niggas try to get tricky. Choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. I 
rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, my horse now. Sorry. <laughs> Fat, juicy seals. I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. Doesn't think about the creep posse. Keep a stream on so you can get that bread. Keep a stream on. Go oh, down, motherfucker. Grabbed on tight. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything changed. Now I was a monster and I smelled people up there. So, Mike, you telling me you don't remember this part? Jay, I didn't watch none of it. Yes, that's a fact. I wanted to stop, but also, I didn't. You must have been out here, Mr. Choosing, or something. With Mr. Bitches. Uh, I had the last part I finished, but I beat this part. And I think I was back in her room. She was talking about her mom. Then, yeah, I was looking through her mom's window. We were supposed to go in there and eat her parents or some shit like that. <laughs> this game sound weird as hell, bro. I yeah. I got closer and closer. All of my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be. Sure, if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. So, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Louis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Little pain. Please. The room was like a museum. 
For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Odin Norway. Finch buries the latest victims. On January 7th, for 40 foot waves off Odin's the daughter Edie, Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under- I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger the than The only trace mother. Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Fucking chair or her shower. <laughs> it was a pretty big trace. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. That little kid got sad as hell on that book picture. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. As he was like... Like, what do you mean it's not in the cupboard? What are you talking about? From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before just me. Just gonna make it! Oh, I'm just gonna make it! Ooh, ooh. So that's how this niggas were cool as hell. He got like, oh, they're twins for Sam or Cal. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. It's some scenery. At Barbara's funeral, he swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. Come on, y'all see the quality on this? I think Calvin always wanted to fly. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Oh, I'm getting Maybe speech. if I hadn't said that. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Oh yeah, I'm getting a speed. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he already made up his mind. First That's what I want to remember about my brother. G shit. Any swing that go that high, I'm getting off of that. I'm going crazy. <laughs> Whoa. Train, that shit would have me tripping. <laughs> like, going that fast? Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I yes. was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. You know in dreams you can't run for shit. 
That's a fact. That man, he was going fast as shit. He said, gang, 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 gang. He went around the tree like four oh, times. Then he started flying into the ocean. Huh? What? Some false stairs? Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Growing up, I saw Barbara as a child star. You said what happened? This is a shot I had to pick up. Oh boy. This nigga want me to kill this nigga? Not me. My boss said I can't drive the way. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Pull over. Here, I'll help you out, Kate. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. Has been. So uh, they the couldn't put an odd there. They put perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream had to be reached where. Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan. And current boyfriend, Rick. Looking at you day after day, I know that I just gotta make it. Uh -huh. Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret puzzles. Dude, it's turned off on me. The secret... Oh, he is fucking yeah. Hold on, let me start in your face right quick. My fault, my bad, my bad, nigga. Twenty minutes later. Don't tie yourself out, young boy. Don't tie yourself out. Barbara went to look for him. Come on now. Come on now. I serve phase for real, for real. The key. She listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Not the Jason theme music. Are you okay? This isn't funny. She found 
Don't make a scratch. And imagine the worst. Hold on, I, I, I gotta make one. Come on. I'm golden up. Fuck is they talking about? trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you... She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Island police describe the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and a speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> She heard was. At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house.
she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance. That's your girl. <laughs> Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Mom must have lost the place for stairs on the night floor. It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. I wonder if that comic was right about there being a key inside the music box near the basement. Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tent. In the no. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. That's a creepy girl, so much, man. Turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's a pattern in all these stories, this best got an underground bunker.
Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe they didn't make a future set in Assassin's Creed. That should be calm. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. It's up, my boys. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. The Even a monster back. on the other side of the door Almost friendly. And then one day, everything just stopped. This nigga been doing this shit since. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. From 1970 to 2005. Waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. He's been eating peaches for 30 years. It's been a week now. Slap. The longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. What's that for? I you said respectfully? You, you can eat peaches for 30 years? Nigga, that's all I can eat. Hell yeah. I'd have had to go out and get some more food. Fuck oh, no, I'm eating them peaches. Nigga. Look, he got tomato ketchup, some shit. He got. He got jelly, nigga. He makes some peanut butter and jelly. I know it's out is... there somewhere. A pork, soup, mayonnaise. Oh, that's vitamin. Vitamin. Okay. But look, he got all this nice food down here eating peaches. Whatever killed Barbara. And Molly. Look, that's all you need right there, Mike. Peanut butter and some jelly and some bread, nigga. Go crazy. He got cereal. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. I just Even if it understand. kills me. You know what? It's time to send out another message. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one more. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Yeah, it looks like it's outside, but it's really a picture frame. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. 
but if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made, trying to bury something that's still alive. That little Kaiba thing with the YouTubers, I bet they gonna get a YouTuber some cars and not even in the game to fuck you up with. Now that there's only one of us left, or... What are you talking about? On the 11th, they said you could go duel like, uh, one of the YouTubers, and then you can duel like a virtual set of Kaiba. But I think the YouTubers are probably going so that they don't just lose to damn everybody. They're gonna probably have some cars that aren't in the game. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Cause if they got everything we got, all they gonna do is eventually lose some noble knights. I'm coming out there with a freaking Exodia deck. <laughs> I don't know if I should even try <laughs> this. first turn. He said Noble Knights and Exodia. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died yeah, clean. I'm gonna come out there. We're going first. I'm gonna call out there my Exodia deck. First turn at YouTuber so I can go duel Kai, but I'm trying to first turn at nigga. <laughs> and the history you're a part of. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. He is love last taking. And when you look at the house. That history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Any of it seems possible. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. That's, that's great. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Indy's side was always easier for me to understand. And I can't stand the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming. Do, made me wanna smile. Can you not like me for a she while? She lost two of her brothers, no. just like I did. She won't I get why me. she tried so hard to protect us. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. But looking back on it now, 
If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. He's pregnant. <laughs> I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. Dawn, I promise, you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are gonna last a lifetime. Mm-hmm. What? Am I gonna have to shoot anything? It's a perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Aww. Hmm. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. Oh, you're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Grandpa Sven taught us how to fish, how to build a fire. Dad! Good eyes, Don. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. survive you need to be strong great shot Don I'm proud of you Don always remember that okay Sorry, Don, just gotta reset the timer. Dad, it's twitching. I think it's totally normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to pick up the Dad! stories that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me Sam spent his life shooting photos but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera I guess we're all afraid of something Hmm. 
After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They both lost a lot. Even the baby though. No, go press. He's handing some game is stupid. There we go. Dear K, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. He saw. It sure made him happy. Shoddy blasted our shit. I feel I'm slipping away. Sorry about that, Gregory. I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Damn it! Oh, hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. Good luck, Kay. 
above Sam. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom where the world's dad. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. I suppose he got some cake to it. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the town my dad had crudely made. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you that day. Thank you. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't until we found you. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, yet. She never talked about me, but mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Headshot. Headshot, come on. Y'all gotta learn how to hit y'all shots anymore. Been playing all along. My mom definitely laughed after her brother's died. Yeah, getting busy over At the time, it was as far away as she could get. God damn, nigga, far as shit. Oh, she God. spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died.
My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Louis was born a year later. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good, almost normal, but it didn't last. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. I was Thank four when disappeared. Mom spent months searching for her daughter, and she sailed the doors. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. When? After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Looks like you guys didn't listen to me saying if you didn't stop, I was going to kill you. So now I gotta kill you. That part. Gotta make sure I'm a man of my word. Louis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was the best. Good job. Now I don't worry about y'all snitching on me. Dear Mrs. Finch. As Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to wander. I asked him to describe it. 
He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. Things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. even encouraged. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topi. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannon. Throw a fish off the side and watch a nigga walk through the city. I'm, no, I'm doing both at the same head. time. <laughs> then one day it struck him. At all the cheering crowd. Even the stones under we're basically the we're basically learning how all her all the people in her family died. We're all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Wait, what the heck? Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Come on now. Just calm. You're tired, bro. God damn. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a. That's some cool. The 
the queen was on her own quest for. Radiant rainbows. He followed the sound of her. Silver heart. Chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, he thought it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. insisted on inviting him. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Well, a kind man will be missed by a while.
in a fantasy that was shit, man. I wish you could have met him. You'd be like that. No, 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 game. See me go walk over to that ladder. This game's ass. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. That whole last day, Edie just watched his pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sealed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best. If Edith and I leave tonight, we'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. 
This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. All that happened is turn around. Who would you get near like this? I got turned around. For a while, I wandered. Seeing things. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. The rest happened pretty quickly. For a while, no, she didn't. And then I was alone. The last inch left alive.
until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. Me or fuck I want you to here. be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. That was deep. Jerry, this car is getting ass. And it was ass because of the controls. Like, you just playing that Pokemon game, you went up, and then you kept going back down. That's what I was doing. Oh, man. Not the games that don't understand they got a fucking mirror that shit. I do like that though. Zeta's Finch, guys. Well, the rest of it. The rest of it. Do you want to see it right there? What else can I? That's for you to find out, Jerry. I ain't got no gates. No Hold on. Hold on. We need to see some meta J. We need J. Cuddle. Max Kyber Cup. <laughs> I'm in Max Kyber Cup. Now you gotta go there. <sighs> I need this new box to drop. Yulia, Yulia, no links is up. I can't stop the meta. Fuck the Kaiba. I can't come out here and give me some bills. Jay think he can stop the meta. 
I can't believe it. No, no, no. no I, I can't. I can't. But I'm gonna come out here and break. <laughs> I'm gonna your deck be weird as hell. Jay don't got no consistency. My, my deck is calm. No, it's not. Hey, that's a two kite roy, a neck cross, chip damage. There's no chip There's damage. No chip there damage. is quintet. There's quintet. We hit the fuck out of Dutch on that corner, nigga. Hell yeah, now he getting gas. Gas and the shit out of there. He did not turn that corner hard enough. My base is running out of stamina. You can handle it. It's the whole strat. Don't do me that horse. Don't do me that favor. And we won the game. We won the game. Can't believe. Can't believe. I know this nigga like this nigga playing Macross. But wait, <laughs> they want to be, <laughs> they want to be touched, Jay. <laughs> he can't feel Gribble. No! Three, three card combo. That's all I need. All I need. I can't stand you. But everything you do make me want to smile. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah. It's always when I play blue eye player, I break. Well, I just got well, one turn. Impossible.
I forgot all about that shit. I today. don't. Th that's what I don't yeah, like playing Duel Links. They know I they only know need I two cards. The ritual monster, the advanced ritual art, and the f magicalized fusion. Why the fuck would you give me two of those cards? And not give me the third one. But this nigga can get a maiden, Parrot of Guardians, then draw into another Parrot of Guardians. And it's Kaiba Cup, so you can't look at niggas decks. I just want to be able to click on him, look at his deck, and see, oh, he's playing a 30-card fucking Blue Eyes deck and got Power to Guardian. I don't get no run-up. Like, what are you talking about? Look at this. Galaxy Eyes. Bet you he bought a first-turn play. I have a play. Now I need a retro monster. And he's strapped. Jay, all in the hair, getting offended. I, I know my deck. And I know the play that I have. I literally went on the other Yu Gi Oh! Right? Played the same deck and consistently summoned Quintet. I come play Duel Links, I don't summon Quintet. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, Jay. <laughs> when I do that shit, they let that shit go straight to an amazing man. <laughs> He touching that shit. So as he see that shit get quit. <laughs> You're like, draw too. Wait, what? Did you do that? <laughs> Night beam is back, bro. <laughs> Damn. Damn. If only <laughs> that shit it makes no sense. I play three of these, Mike. Three. And I play one kite road. And kite road is always in my hand. Jay, that's just the game's algorithm. You gotta run two kite road and you need some more ritual niggas. I'm not playing 30 stack. Say fuck up game. <laughs> Say fuck the floodgates and drown air force. You gotta add the more monster. No, that's gonna break. <laughs> Jay, you're clamped already. I'm about to just go to Pegasus and play the fucking scale that lets me send a card to my hand in a ritual monster. That's been what you need to do, nigga. I don't know why you're on Jaden. You don't got no skill boost for that thing. You just be out here. Top deck, you know, you need skills on doing the way, bro. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get some gems. Am I one turn? I am one turn. Photon lizard, so then search for the thrasher, then Sakun. That means he already has the Thrasher. Wait, what? That nigga's deck some fucking shit. And boys. Damn, Jay, you didn't get the right one. The other one's pussy back row.
he's gonna touch your car with a fucking car I got in a fucking galaxy eyes deck. Oh my god! <laughs> Indeed, but you need three magical ice fusions. You're not getting it. Okay, uh, you're clamped. You lost. Nothing you can do about it. The only way to get out of this jam is the floodgate. His first summon. Uh -huh. He set a card, but that can only mean that he's going to <laughs> summon the Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon. But, but, how's he not already on your ass? This man's Galaxy Eyes deck is pussy. I'd have been coming over on Jay, touching all his fucking cards the first turn. Uh, Star Leech, wait, wait for the galaxy. I was asking, maybe we got the floodgate. floodgate's already floodgated. I floodgated his first nigga, which was a photon of Anther. Touch the monster. I know you want to. Jay, fuck it. Give me that fucking back, bro. There's only one hope. I draw. <laughs> it was exactly what Jay needed. Bullshit. Quintet. But with all that back row, he said, it has to be something. Damn. And he didn't have any cards in his hand. At the bottom of my deck, Mike, I have four cards left. <laughs> It'd be like that. Most of the time. So I don't know which one to play. If I enter the void, I should get that shit. I should have just drew into it. That's my fault. Hold on. You might be right, Mike. Hold on. I might have to take one out and run Free. That's what I'm telling you. You need to make sure that you at least all got in hand. But you're going first. I kind of gonna fuck you up now. Uh, look at your hand. All three. All three copies. Uh, uh, impossible. <laughs> How is something like that even making sense? Of course, Cosmos. Uh, you need another Gatoroid for when you go first. Because <sighs> these niggas are strappy as shit. But, 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 but. Uh, 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 Do I want to cop this stock for a dollar forty when it has potential of dropping below that? But it's a short squeeze. That means that this shit might blow. <laughs> Watch out for me, I'm about to blow. Whoa. Give me your connection, me your connection boy. I'm about to blow. I'm about to play Magician of Chaos.
No, you're not. I should. I should. But you're not. But are you? Probably. Probably. Ah, fucking I like Jerry. the macros card because it lets me draw two cards. What is it giving you a dub? I just caught two. I also saw you break on Kaiba. And that's our greatest foe right there. I always break against blue eye players. I always go first. Activate my activate my ice ice restriction. Foolish. My turn. I draw a card. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> Sorry. Looks like, looks like, looks like, looks like, hmm, sorry, looks like this is it. Armor, but... but we don't care about that. Because our monster can't be targeted. Yes, he can. <laughs> sorry, Jay. Hmm. Looks like, looks like, looks like, looks like, hmm, sorry. That's just not activating. Yeah, I And he karma cuts me. Karma cuts. I fucking quit. I fucking quit. Fucking treasure. Fucking treasure. He thought his little ultimate providence was going to work. The queen did. How the? That's a screen nuke. Yeah. Joey Miller. And I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> Bro, why is Kite Roid always in my hand? Buy the dip, faggot. <laughs> Android, but, 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 but.
but but damn it. Karma cut. Damn. My enemy guys are like. Hey, good thing you didn't get my karma cut. I gotta make sure I keep a card in here so I can use it. Hey, <laughs> looks like this is it, Jay. I said that there is a new Bro, oh, I just oh, need I this. <laughs> no. So, the way right, my deck way is, my deck without is shuffling, shuffling, Night Beam is the Night third Beam card. card. Yeah, then you gotta add another fucking advanced ritual or take out the Night Beam. I don't even have three. Fuck. Jay. Hey, you got you. I know you got it. I don't have three. I'm not buying that box again. Cop it, Jay. Oh. Just drop it. Fuck it. Drop it so you can still brick and make you even angry. It's first. Oh, I'm not buying that. I'm out of this place and this place and this place. girls. I fucking hate my heart. I'd be fucking well. Omega, I don't know how I always got Dark Titan Monsters. <laughs> I'm a monster. Stay dark. He keep caught over and clamp my shit. I had it. Got it. Excellent. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry, Jay. Be like that sometime. It's only against Kaiba. I swear if I play anybody else, I have max cards. Look at <laughs> You're offended. I'll see. Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Is Quintetta Dark Man? He chip nigga. He chip nigga. GameStop the most craziest stock on here. You know how to get a lot of bread or rule all your money. Oh, that shit's going crazy. Do I risk it and cut the deep? He's not going to act it. Action. Action. Busto. Busto.
Huh? What? What? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, man. When a monster that special summon activates on your opponent's side of the field, negate the effect, destroy the card. Ooh. 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 He was supposed to be clamped. What the fuck? What the This nigga made $134,000 a day. Fuck him. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. I. I. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Beam this up, beam this up. Wish I had cosmic side, cosmic side. What do I do here? What do I do here? Hit a swing on that quick day. I can't attack. He has an old haster on his ass. To the the quit monster, monster. can I attack it? Effects are negated if this card leaves the field. Bro, you got 4,000 smacky smacky. He don't got shit to destroy that nigga. He keep that in that fucking turn, huh? <laughs> Respectfully. That nigga gotta get over your monster. He can't be destroyed with card effects. I mean, that nigga got some return that shit to your hand. Wait, you do got Gustos. <laughs> Gustos don't return to the hand, do they? Or he went in the top deck of monsters for his back, bro. Man, you're fucking tough. Million Dragon. Million Dragon. He's going to Vermillion his back, bro. I'll take your monster. Oh, oh, Jay, Jay put that nigga in the fan position for what? I meant to put him in the back. Oh, Jay, can't wonder that nigga. I'll crash straight into that shit. Damn it, Jay. And I don't understand. That's why I want niggas in Konami to watch when I play the game. <laughs> because they literally, out of nine duels that I played, playing Quintet, I finally play someone who has only one Shadow in Prison Mirror that you can only get from an event that happened years ago.
and then they didn't let they what really happened was they didn't let me activate my trap tricks nightmare on his gusto that he special summon that's what clan that's what clan get this shit out my hand Now I'm a couple of cents higher than I should have been. But, 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 I'm sorry. I got a stock for COVID vaccine, nigga. You know what that means. Please, get please, fuck you, please, one more, and I'm not looking bad. God. Damn it. Oh my pussy back row. Wait, what the fuck? This nigga got freaking fang and crutchaos in his deck. Tyrant wing. So he has to add a fang. That niggas go top dick and mod. Fucking strap. Fucking strap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're both my Oh, the shit. screen is not screen up to not date. Up I can't see the bottom part. The bottom part. So I couldn't click bottom back or go. It put dirt. It put dirt. Case one. Case one. Yeah, that was just gonna break you. All of a sudden, it could be every opening hand you got. Good ass top tag. I didn't. I didn't. But I drove one time. You shit with it. With it. I heard that nigga in offense. Then he starts taking damage. Can't quit that way. Can't quit that way. All the same fucking month. Fucking month.
trying to figure out how he's plus five. And I've got two cards in my hand. Two cards in my hand. I put DNA transplant in, turn everybody to dark fucking up. Niggas <laughs> say out here getting weird. Let me see a nigga with magician girl DNA surgery, man. Dang, I should have caught this shit for that 1340. I let my gun get glizzy out too fast. Now I'm in a red. Ah, ah, ah. The, the, the shining dragoon. Damn, that nigga tight. This nigga Jade. <laughs> oh, so I just got this random ass card to make it so they can't <laughs> touch my his shit. It should have negated that effect to send him back to his hand. Because it's supposed to go in his graveyard. Because it's supposed to be destroyed. It's supposed to be destroyed. It's supposed to be destroyed. His effect's supposed to be negated. I don't know how far that nigga did that, but it'd be like that. I ain't about to go out here and touch shit. They ain't not go out here and touch shit. Yeah, he said you're not targeting my monsters. Well, if he was going to do that, then why the fuck would he put it in attack position and attack with it? This nigga got his fucking turns. You blew off with your whole archetype and the game were unstoppable. Fucking folly. He's just doing shit now. <laughs> Verse. Feels like he thought that shit targeted. Damn. Now that nigga's fucking clamp. Not another day, another J dub. But wait, his monsters can't be destroyed by card effects. Thor eyes can't be destroyed by card effects. God damn it! If only, how could I lose with some top tier meta deck? Yeah, all on plays. Fucking loss. Maybe niggas need to learn to stop swinging again. And he should have summoned a vermilion dragon mech to pop my magician girl. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Vermilion, alternative fucking dragon.
How do we need to draw and to hide talking about it? I have put that. He's thinking like, he's thinking like, what's the big brain play I can do with my galaxy? Sum it up. Sum it up. Nigga, sum it up. Double fucking banish that very magician girl so that effect on activate. Come over for Perfect the game. Perfect activate. <laughs> got the... Nah, you can't really block that shit. That's why you gotta double banish that bitch, but you definitely caught my ass at that floodgate. I got mad as me and drowning. I get mad as shit. <laughs> That's karma. Uh, the karma cousin. Yeah, yeah, even if he karma cuts you, he can't beat you anymore. He got too much. He got a weight on his, on your board. What kind of galaxy eyes is this nigga playing? He's setting cards. I'm galaxy. I'm probably blue. He has a seven. Oh, it's Trinity. Trinity. Not these optimized ass niggas. What does he do? Summon a nigga for yeah, his he's deck. He's gonna discard a card, grab the tuner from his deck, so he can win. So he can win. Yeah, I wish I had shit like that. Oh, a nigga that come out the deck for these freaking synchrons is level fucking four monster. That ain't doing shit. Let's ride, Lanny. I can make the bronze effect. It's not going to get back. You could just do this shit all day. Yeah. Stupid. Stupid. Huh? What? Huh? It's a quiz. It's a quiz. A times that. Thank you. 
oh yeah you want to go play yo singes you know what we're gonna do we're gonna face you against a stalling as air What the hell? Damn animal came. What is that nigga? Every time, time can't buy phase, they get a fucking hunter attack. Necro Valley. That's gotta be a karma, I mean a night babe. but well, whatever the fuck is called. A cyclone. Or it's another. I don't know why your Sanders was out here running it. That's what we like to see. Guess who's on a fucking rocket right now? Who? <laughs> me. Take me to that twenty dollar profit so I can sell out and feel accomplished for the night. <laughs> Right back at you. Thirty six. Thirty six. Right. Think that's all. Think that's all. I can draw. I can draw fucking noggin. Bow. I heard them niggas ran me off the fucking battlefield the other day. Them niggas was fucking me up. Oh, get off my nigga Lenny. Come on now. Come on now. They let it get some cover, and they take it in the hog. That's one. I know you didn't cause the nigga with the shotty. I know the game didn't take off my fucking shotgun. Oh. And my horse all the way back there, so that shit's there. Alright. Hey, shot. Alright, call the other nigga Brian out on me. Stop emo when you fucking hot. Oh, I'm fucking How you win? How you win? 200. Now I'm making a one-hour trip. I'm 